Well, if you made your way out to the soccer field, it was a beautiful evening, made another great sunset, and we're going to continue to see beautiful sunsets because we're still dealing with this clear air. Now, the high pressure really settling in, and we talk about how fast we're cooling off as we still see some of those northerly winds. Well, they're pretty calm right now. All the way down into those mid-50s, then we made a good run into those 90s, and we're cooling off pretty quickly right now because we're already at those mid-70s. Now, as we continue to drop down into those 60s, I'm on the lookout to see if we don't reach back down into those 50s all over the place, really. 71 in San Angeles. Hello, everybody else already down there in the 70s with us. You know, I'm looking for 10 degrees as we cool off watching those moisture values return from earlier this afternoon. But right now it's 74 in Sterling City, 74 down there in Junction, looking like Ballinger's the hot spot at 78. And unless you want to count that all the way down to Sonora, that would be about our 10 degrees, but not in the direction that we want. Now, when we watch those humidity values return, we're seeing those moisture content values somewhere in those 50s along with those dew points, but we're not really seeing any cloud cover. That's where we're still seeing those stable suppressive conditions from this strong high pressure really not going to be going anywhere as we continue to see wave after wave of these low pressure systems. We're going to be on the lookout for some of those lifting mechanisms as we get closer towards the weekend that could pull some of this moisture around the Gulf back up into the at least Mississippi River Valley, but steering well clear of the Concho Valley. Now, when we look at the water vapor, we're seeing that stationary boundary, but you can already sort of see that wrapping. Now, a good example was when we saw Barrel become post-tropical, if not Helene also become post-tropical. Similar setup, but a lot smaller. And as we look near the Rocky Mountains, we can see another large wave starting to form somewhere in that high pressure. Now, the tropics have calmed down in the last couple hours, so it's actually been downgraded. We're still watching the concentrations of orange, but then we see that cold front push through, and that keeps that boundary pretty stark. Look at how quickly those colors go from orange all the way down to that light brown. That's some dry air all the way into those coastal regions where they're still going to see some of those humid conditions. Severe weather outlook pretty calm going into tomorrow, but we're on the lookout for some of that dry air to begin wrapping and lifting that moisture up into the atmosphere. When we take you down to the surface, that's where we're keeping our eye on the convection in the Gulf coast but of course as nighttime settles in we start to see some of those suppressive conditions you can sort of see that light gray go to that darker gray that's where we start to see some of those cooling conditions where the sunset sets in now the future cast is going to show you absolutely nothing here in the Concho Valley that includes Friday night football where we're going to see more of those beautiful conditions that we saw tonight and we're going to see tomorrow and we're going to see all week long well into the weekend so get out there and definitely take advantage of it because you can even see some of that cloud cover just hovering around the Gulf Coast region and we are keeping track of some of these storms that are pushing off towards the north to see any more of that cool air makes its way down during the day so we can finally stop sending Haley out into the heat where we're going to be touching back up into those 90s. So tonight, down into the 60s, we're on the lookout to see if we don't get any cooler than that. that. Then tomorrow, we're starting out pretty cool and pretty calm. It's really refreshing in the morning. Then we warm up by about lunchtime. Then evening sets in and we start to cool off pretty quickly. It's going to stay that way all week long as we get towards that first weekend of October, looking pretty beautiful for Friday night football. Still going strong in those lower 90s, but you know what I'm looking out for is a lot of these dry conditions. We're about a week in right now, and we're going to continue to hold on to these dry conditions well into that second week of October, while those overnight lows continue to hover around those upper 50s. But we'll see if it doesn't get colder than that. Stay tuned. We'll have more for the break. You're watching KSAN News at 10.